Welcome back to the shooting channel. Today we're going to do just something slightly different. We've done reviews on ATAs on this program, but we've never done a round of clays with an ATA shotgun. So I've got 50 cartridges and we're just going to shoot a couple of three, four stands, five stands, and we're going to have a round of clays and we're just going to have a, have a look at what the ATA range of shotguns. The ATA generally is a cheap, the cheapest budget gun you can get on the market. They're fantastic guns, but they're kind of starter level. And that is really where the ATA, they're, they're good. They start at 600 pounds and go up. They've kind of taken that bottom end. And they're reasonably good guns. They're not the sort of gun, they're the sort of gun that you're gonna start with probably for a year, flop, sell on, and move to a Yilditz Pro, a Browning, a Bretta, something like that. And that's really where they are. They're inexpensive guns to get people off starting. say they're great guns but if you go to hammer a lot with them how much are they going to last so we're just going to have a look at that and see what happens we've come to the first stand here at oxford and we're going to shoot five pairs on here on the first stand so that's my First stand, first impressions, handles well, does recoil a bit though, if I must say. But other than that, handles reasonably well. Combs, okay, not stupidly low, not ridiculously high. Let's go and shoot another stand. While we're on our walk to our next stand, don't forget if it's really hot, these swap comms, great product to buy. They're not sweaty and don't forget, you get 10% off using our TSC10 discount code on their website. And they're a fantastic product. Get on their website, grab a pair. Now we're gonna to come to the famous rabbit mania. We're gonna shoot this. Oh. C then D. Pull. They're quite bow heavy, so they're not quite as balanced, but for the money of them, are you worried about that? Pull. I'm using 26 gram, 24 grams. The only thing I would say, it does recall quite a lot. It doesn't mean I wouldn't buy one, but don't forget, go to your local shooting school, go and ask the experts, go and try them. I'd always advise that you get to test a gun. You can't do that in a gun shop. Go to your local shooting school or go to a shooting school with a purpose-built gun shop as part of that shooting school. And they will help you with the choice of your gun. If you're looking for a nice and expensive gun, this might be the one. You never know. Go and see the experts, have a look. Most decent shooting schools, I'm here at Oxford. They've got a demo gun. They've got lots of them. They've got Bretta Browning. They've got ATAs. They've got Yielded. They've got lots of different demo guns for you to go and try. So book yourself a lesson, go and have a look. And there's lots of decent shooting schools up and down the country that will all help you with your first choice of your gun. Let's go to the next stand. So we've come to the last stand. Pull. 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 Thank you. 
Oh. So that was my Ranaclays with the ATA shotgun. And again, for the money, you can't knock them. They're great little guns for a starter gun. And have a look at them. Go to your local shooting school, go and have a look at them. They look the part, they've got reasonably nice wood on. As I say, the worst thing I can find is they do kick a bit. But other than that, would I buy one? If it was right fit for me, yeah, I probably would. Comment below if you agree, if you disagree. Comment below if you like the ATA. I would like to find out if anyone has hammered an ATA and what it's like after it's had 100,000 shells to it. Comment below. I hope you've enjoyed this film. Please like and subscribe. Please like us on Instagram, Facebook. Please, please, please. Join our membership as little as $2.99 a month. You will have some great fun, great entertainment. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.